Unaona the effect of bad governance ni ile mambo sasa tunapitia kama taifa. Hii ni uongozi mbaya, uongozi hauna mwelekeo, uongozi hauna maono, uongozi wa kufanya guesswork. Wakati Ruto aliingia kwa serikali, bero ya mafuta bar, menye mafuta inauzagwa hizo madram bell ilikuwa 150 dollars kwa bei ya dunia kwa market ya dunia saa hizi we are speaking the same same bill ni 80 dollars kwa bei ya dunia lakini kwa nini mafuta ya Kenya badala ya guke ina shuti juu ni kwa sababu muno kiongozi hana maono hana mwelekeo na hajui anaenda wapi yeye anafanya guesswork Umeona report imesema wazi for the first time in history Tanzania ime overtake Kenya kuwa the best destination for investors. Sasa investor wanapulipa Tanzania than in Kenya. Na wacha nikwambie safari yetu iko bali na tutaenda bali. Na hii ndio makosa ya kuchaguaga watu na emotions. Ni kutojua value ya taifa that's why watu wanaenda kwa voting wana add up ku vote the wrong leaders abao wanatuelekeza sasa pale tumefika kama taifa tuko pahali pabaya sana na hatuna mwe, hatuna matumaini hata umesikia kuna mtu aliuliza David D tunaelekea wapi mkuu hmm? kuna matumaini mwaka unaokuja mambo itakuwa mzuri David D akamjibu mgojo ako ICU na hata kufa anaweza kufa so hata watu wale wako karibu sana na William Ruto wale anaitaga economic advisor hawana idea what is next na nilikuwa na nyinyi hapa nikawaambia serikali ya kuwekwa watu incompetence ati hao ndio wako karibu na wewe serikali lazima itaenda chini hmm? wewe ukizunguka watu wote wale wako karibu na president ni watu wadogo ambao hawajakuwa na makizi za corruption kwa makoti lakini yeye anawaamini anawaamini anataka ende na wao hmm? kuchukua idara very important energy akaweka marafiki zake na childhood friends bila ku consider qualification ama experience hiyo ilikuwa another suicide hmm? Wazikuwa your childhood friend ukuja umpatie akue die mkubwa wa Kenya Power hmm? mwingine akue die mkubwa Epra bila ku consider experience hao watu kwa sababu ni tribe mate wako ama ni marafiki zako ama ni childhood friend zako uwaweke hapo una sacrifice taifa ya watu 50 million kwa sababu ya satisfaction ya marafiki zako It is very unfortunate that ata tunaelekea pahali mafuta inaaguka ina lakini sisi tunapadisha najiuliza in case hii vita venye inaenda huko Israel in case the those those arab countries ziaza kuingilia na unajua they are highest producer of oil in the world mafuta yede juu what will happen to Kenya tutakuwa na inflation na bayo hatujawahi sikia na hatujaiona na macho yetu hmm? Utakuwa unabeba na pesa ukienda kununua vitu. Hmm? It is very unfortunate as Kenyans. It is very unfortunate that hata masauti nyinyi mmepunguza, hamtaki kuambia serikali ukweli, ione how serious they have messed up this economy.